early mistake by Ronnie and he's made very very few of them so Barry will be playing to leave herself a good angle on this blue one be trying to catch this pink full in the face be playing it with lots of bottom to try and hit the pink and stop the white on the spot or just drag a couple of inches above well he's just caught the side of it he split the reds everywhere he needs to find the next red as you can see nothing goes to the corner so he's gonna have to play the one to left center Barry potted that one. Amazing the gap that cue ball found through that cluster of reds there at the top to end up near that right side cushion. But Barry's got a nice easy red here waiting for him over the left corner and he can just drop that in for the black so he doesn't necessarily need to get really close to it. Hawkins seven. And he may have had an opportunity to put some pressure One. on him. But he won't buy missing yellows like that and he knows it. Eight. Black, if it does, it's going to be well. You can see, he can little dinky shot. Nine it looked a lot thinner than that from our commentary position. It's quite amazing when you then see it on camera how different the angles look. Already 16. Looks like this 17. could be a frame match winning chance. Obviously a lot of work still to be done, but I assure you Barry Hawkins will be fearing the worst here. Might have just played his last shot in this year's Welsh Open. And where's our red going? Well now it's gone on the corner. <laughs> if he's a better man and I am not. Twenty two for sat in a chair. This year's Welsh Open is over. 23. We'll have to wait another year. 30. 31. Gotta be careful with this shot. She tries to stand up through the gap. He's okay. Thirty-eight. All weak in this position. Thirty-nine. He's looked totally in control and ominous. Just scoring for fun. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Sees every shot in a break, one o seven, so quickly, and his cue ball control is so good that he seldom has to change his plans. And look at that. He's taking these reds, he's just left those four all in a line there. They all go into that right corner. 54. Again, look at that shot. How he's come off the cushion and got so close to the black. 
And we've talked about the big bounces all week off the cushion and that. That's the difference. Keeping the cue ball 62. under tight control, making the next shot as easy as we possibly can. And Barry would be thinking if he'd been playing anybody else tonight. He could very well have been well up in this match and on his way to the final. 70. It's took a terrific on form Ronnie O'Sullivan to beat him and he has played absolutely terrific. You can't take anything away. It's the best I've seen Ronnie 75. for many a year. Even when he's won the last two world 76. titles, I don't think I've seen him playing as freely and as fluent as this. 82. 83. And wouldn't it be nice if you just slip this red down the cushion to get the fourth century of this match? He's not going to be too bothered if he doesn't. But it's gone in. He's clipped the pink. I'm going to see another flash 91. shot. 91. This has been an unbelievable performance. And in goes the green. Everything is popular. 94. Well, well, well. He's on total fire. Barry Hawkins. He'll be admiring this. There's nothing you can take away from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Nothing you can take away from Barry Hawkins, really. He's had a terrific tournament. He's played very well in this match. But Ronnie O'Sullivan has just been absolutely scintillating. Eighth century of this tournament, absolutely on fire. Well, the blue doesn't go in. Barry's coming up to offer the handshake. It'll be Barry Hawkins. Wouldn't be too disheartened. He'll be sad to be lost. But Ronnie